Friesen just didn't have anywhere to go here well, as they come up on a Wuji. Yeah, Wuji's a lap truck, and you would think he would get to the bottom. They're racing side by side, and I think Stewart assumed he would stay low, and Jesse moved up the road, and really nothing Stewart Friesen could have done differently there. He was committed to the outside. Obviously, he, he, he tore up his truck, so hindsight's 20-20, but you can see there's just no way to think that a Wuji would, would move up in the lane. Yeah, that's incumbent on the spotter to say, hey, they're coming, they're coming too wide behind you move down to the bottom, give them room, and they would have been able to get by if that had been the case. Ross Chastain and Tyler Ankrum narrowly avoiding contact in that. In fact, uh, I think Ankrum did get in the, yeah, that's, a, he uh, definitely got into the backside of Stuart Friesen. Strong on the restart for Brett Moffitt. But watch this, oh, oh, and there's trouble. More contact and pool again involved in that 30 truck along with the 44 of Natalie Decker. It has gone from bad to worse for Brennan Poole. Oh, what red is an acronym for? So it looks like Decker just lost it. I didn't see contact leading to that half spin, and then it caught up Brennan Poole. Yeah, Brennan may have gotten on the brakes and got hit from behind and shoved him up into the 40. And Matt Crafton in the neon yellow, and the caution is out. And that's Garrett Smithley. Anybody else? But you got to have enough laps to, to, to pass some people. We're not sure where that began, but that's the end result for Garrett Smithley. I think Phil probably nailed it, slowed down once the caution came. I saw that rear end moving around under, under the caution there. And a caution is out again, and it's Todd Gilliland in the 38 over in the three and four area with heavy contact. And the first time Gilliland had contact, it was the left front. Uh, a little bit of help from John Hunter Nemechek, possibly. See John Hunter sideways right there. They definitely made some contact. Hard to tell from that angle if maybe John Hunter went up or Gilliland came down. So they, they met in the middle, though, for sure. So Gilliland takes the worst of it. Don't go anywhere. It is going to be wild to the finish, and we can't wait to bring it to you.